Welcome to Monza, where the crowd are ready for today's action. And we hope you're ready to see the world's best drivers fighting it out for that number one spot. It's time for the Italian Grand Prix. With top speeds reaching 215 miles per hour, only a few places can challenge Monza's crown as the fastest circuit in F1. Hard braking zones going into the three chicanes make up the majority of the 11 corners on this 3.6 mile circuit. And just in case the slipstream wasn't enough, two DRS zones will help encourage some closer action. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? But from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Alexander Olbon will lead us away from pole position. And it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Leclerc, Max Verstappen, and Vettel, Stroll, Magnussen, Sainz, and Daniel Ricciardo, Perez, Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. It's a good start, keep it up.
use DRS, DRS now available. job, you've done everything we wanted today. Here we are then, a thoroughly deserved win in Italy after another excellent Grand Prix. So Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, when you overtake that many people, I'd certainly hope you'd win the race. Their car was really effective in the slipstream here today, and the team will be pleased that they didn't cook the engine, given how long they were spending in the hot air behind other cars. They had a lot of confidence to push their tyres hard as well, especially going into the corners, which allowed some late braking and some exciting passes. Haas are no doubt happy with today's performance, having secured the win this weekend. And our drivers are making their way out for the podium celebrations as we speak. Now, let's discuss, Ants. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? Well, I certainly didn't have any complaints with Kevin Magnussen's performance today. Incredible driving. Well, Ants, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.